our next point is buoyant force this buoyant force means plavak ball so what is the meaning of or definition of this buoyant force the upward force acting on the object in water is called as the buoyant force very simple definition of this the upward force upward manje varcha disheni dhakalnara ball kuthe in water or either fluid or gas is called as buoyant force how this experience of buoyant force for this there is one activity and again we can conclude the definition of this buoyant force for this take one empty plastic bottle and fix the lid of this bottle tightly and leave in a water what happen it will float on water surface then push this empty bottle inside the water what happen this bottle sinks into the water no then what happen this bottle again float on the water it cannot sink inside this water it continues to float also this experiment we can carry it out with the help of one ball if you take the plastic ball this is also this ball is float on the water surface why does this happen and how this activity is carried out again take another bottle fill this bottle with water to the its fullest capacity tight the lid and release in water this bottle will float inside the water float not on the water surface this inside the bottle means this bottle does not sink at the bottom or not float on the water surface at the middle means inside the water this bottle will float why the empty plastic bottle floats on the surface of water right on the contrary the bottle full of water floats inside the water but does not go to the bottom why the weight of empty bottle is negligible as compared to the weight of the water inside bottle cha weight kase hai agdi negligible negligible manje naganya durlaksha karnya jog as compared to the water inside the container so there is the water sorry weight of bottle is very negligible such a bottle with water neither floats on the surface or not does it go to the bottom when it is filled with the water this means force due to the gravity acting downwards must have been balanced by an opposing force why this bottle not sink because there is one force acting on this bottle by downward direction this force is fb that is the buoyant force and one force which attract towards the gravitation this force is fg that is the gravitational force which acting in downward direction and this buoyant force is acting on upward direction means on this bottle which is full filled with water two forces are acting one is buoyant force and second is gravitational force the gravitational force acting downward direction and this buoyant force acting upward direction from where this buoyant force appear the water content which is surrounding this bottle all these water content exert the pressure on this bottle and it um, act downwardly to push the bottle on upward direction so this pressure of water inside the container which act 
shifting upward direction to this bottle this is called as buoyant force this force must have originated from the water surrounding the bottle and this upward force acting on the object in water or other fluid or also gas not only in any fluid but also in the gas this is called as buoyant force which is denoted by a g very easy definition of this buoyant force the upward force the upward force acting on the any object which are present in water other fluid or gas is called as buoyant force then there are different examples of this buoyant force first example or one question while pulling a bucket from a well the bucket full of the water immersed fully in water appears to the weight less than when it has been pulled out of water why you know from the well the bucket which is filled with water when this bucket is inside the water it feels very lightly or less weight and when you pull from this water then it feels is heavy when this bucket full of water is immersed in water the net force acting on this bucket is equal to weight of the bucket full of water the buoyant force exerted by the water on the bucket this buoyant force h over theta is act as well this buoyant force due to the water is proportional to the density of this fluid the density of water is much greater than that of air therefore air peksha kay hai density jast therefore <coughs> the buoyant force acting on a bucket full of water while it is in water is much greater than when it is empty that is in when it is in air hence it appears to weigh less while it is in water than when it has been pulled out of water means this is due to the buoyant force another one example is take a piece of thin aluminum sheet and dip in water in a bucket eka bucket madhe kay karala sangitle tani aluminum cha sheet unchi patal patra ekada aluminum cha tukda gya ani eka bucket madhe tya panyamadhe to taka kay hoy when you did uh, <coughs> this uh, piece of thin aluminum sheet what happened it sink in the water at the bottom now shape the same piece into the small boat ata yas piece la kay karaycha small boat cha shape daycha thodi sa kay yas tukda cha asa cha apan tukda takla aluminum cha tar kay jala तो सिंक झाला बुडाला तळाला जोडून बसला आणि जर तुम्ही त्याच तुकड्याच्या तुकड्याला शिपचा आकार दिला किंवा बोटचा आकार दिला तर काय होईल द बोट फ्लोट्स ऑन द वॉटर सर्फेस वाय दिस हॅपन बिकॉज देर इज ऑल्सो बायोट फोर्स अँड द बायोट फोर्स इज डिपेंड्स ऑन टू फॅक्टर द फर्स्ट फॅक्टर इज volume of the object and second factor is a density of the object these two points are very important the buoyant force is more if the volume of the dipping object is more and more the density of liquid more is the force of buoyancy density is just as well that buoyant force sudha just as 
अर्थात सिंक झाला म्हणजे काय इट्स डेन्सिटी इज मोर दॅन वॉटर देअर फोर देर इज बाईंग फोर्स इज ऑल्सो मोर अँड देअर फोर दिस शेप ऑफ बोट ऑफ दिस अल्युमिनियम डज नॉट सिंक इट फ्लोट्स ऑन द वॉटर सरफेस अनादर वन एक्झाम्पल ऑफ दिस बाईंड फोर्स ऑर हाऊ दिस बाईंड फोर्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वॉल्युम अँड डेन्सिटी फॉर दिस and take a glass which is filled with water then add or uh, put one lemon in this water what happen this lemon is sink in a glass a lemon sink in a glass filled with water but it floats when we stir in two spoon of salt in water why apan ek limbu yacha madhe ghetla kay hoil tarala dol basa ani jar apan ya paanyacha glassa madhe don table spoon salt add kele tar kay hoil due to the addition of salt there is a density of this water is increased so when density of water increases the buoyant force is proportional to the density hence when the lemon is immersed in the water the magnitude of the buoyant force acting on this lemon is greater than the magnitude of weight of this lemon therefore it floats on water paniyachi density kay zali ya salt mule jast zali याची डेन्सिटी जास्त झाली तर बायोन फोर्स काय असेल बायोन फोर्स सुद्धा हा जास्त असेल त्यामुळे काय होत इट बिकम्स ग्रेटर दॅन द वेट ऑफ लेमन सो दिस लेमन इज फ्लोट ऑन द वॉटर सरफेस ऑल्सो देर इज अनादर एक्झाम्पल इट बिकम्स इझियर टू स्विम इन सी वॉटर दॅन इन फ्रेश वॉटर लेट से this is because the density of sea water is higher than the density of fresh water why because in the sea the water comes from different earth surface with the river and there is addition of many salts therefore dense due to this uh, salt the density of this uh, sea water is increased or higher than the density of fresh water due to this salt the easier to swim in sea water than the fresh water so from this example we can understood that buoyant force is depends on two factor this buoyant force it depends on these two factor these two factors first is a volume and second is a density about this volume we can say that the buoyant force is more if the volume of the dipping object is more volume more buoyant force is more and about density of liquid more the density of liquid more the buoyant force density just as in the buoyant force just as the वॉल्युम जास्त असेल तर बायंड फोर्स सुद्धा जास्त असतो सो दिस इज अबाउट द बायंड फोर्स नाव देर इज अनादर वन पॉईंट हाऊ इज इट डिसायडेड दॅन दॅट इन अँड ऑफ इन ऑब्जेक्ट लेफ्ट इन लिक्विड विल गेट सिंक इन द लिक्विड और विल फ्लोट ऑन द सरफेस और विल फ्लोट इन साईड द लिक्विड कोणत्या गोष्टीवरून आपण ठरवतो की एखादी वस्तू लिक्विड मध्ये सिंक होणार आहे म्हणजे बुडणार आहे की फ्लोटिंग राहणार आहे म्हणजे तरंगणार आहे का लिक्विडच्या आतमध्ये राहणार आहे तीन तिथं चान्सेस आहेत हाऊ वी डिसाईड दिस एक तर काय असेल एखादा ऑब्जेक्ट फ्लुइड मध्ये काय होईल सिंक होईल किंवा फ्लोट होईल किंवा फ्लोट इनसाइड द वॉटर असेल द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज द 
the object floats if the buoyant force is larger than weight. Float ke hua hoi? The object floats if the buoyant force, buoyant force is denoted by FB, buoyant force is larger than weight. Weight peksha buoyant force just the same kati was to kai hoi? Float hoi. Then the object sink if if the was to sink ke hua hoi bude ke hua if the buoyant force is smaller buoyant force is smaller than its weight and the object floats inside object pane chat madhe ke hua float hoi if the buoyant force is equal to its weight so there are three chances of due to this buoyant force